Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm excited to take you through playing Project Nebula. Now, um, if you follow the Eye on Icon podcast, obviously, you know we had Daniel on. I've done some tutorials about the marketplace around this. This is the first play to earn video game, per se, computer game you can play um, that is built on the Icon blockchain. It has, an, as you can see, you know, it's a space theme exploration game. You can collect NFTs, you can um, level them up, explore a galaxy, get art, music, lore, all kinds of stuff. So I thought, if you are wondering, uh, should you be playing this? Well, uh, that's what I want to take you through, how it kicks off, what kind of you, you have to spend to get started with the game, how does it all work. Uh, Everyone who is an iconist is probably already playing it, but there are people probably sitting on the sidelines, not sure. And I'm hoping that this quick intro and tutorial that I do and take you through encourages you to dive right in and start playing. So first and foremost, shout out to Icon Pinas. They have given me sweet loot. Um, so in the spirit of the game where you also get sweet loot, I'm wearing my Icon merchandise. So thank you for sending that. That was um, a, a nice surprise and so many shirts and things, so I really appreciate it. So let's dive in. The first thing you need to do now is to remember you have uh, to play this. You need the IconX wallet. HANA will be supported soon. It's not supported completely, so probably best stick to the IconX wallet. If you have migrated to HANA and removed IconX, I've done a tutorial. I'll place it on top here soon. You just have to do that in reverse. Do the same thing you did for HANA. Restore your key store file into IconX again and off you go. Your old wallet with whatever you have in there is restored just how you have it at the moment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ignore that. You need the IconX wallet to get started. You need some ICX as well um, to play the game. And then that's about it. You just jump right in. So let's go. The first thing, if you're on the Project Nebula site, let's click play and it takes you here. So you need to set yourself up with via an email and password. So why? Because the game doesn't interact every second with the blockchain. It is strictly certain transactions that will verify if you're purchasing, uh, if you find a planet and you have to use ICX to buy it, that's when um, you will use or interact with blockchain. Otherwise, it's all, you know, quite smooth. So you do need to set up an email, um, uh, hook it into your email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a whole new account. I'm going to set it up right now and um, come back. So once you've done that, you'll see you've got, uh, been sent a confirmation email. So go to your email, confirm it, and then we can log in. So we'll just log in. Sure, let's save it. And there you go. So as soon as you log in, the first thing it's asking you to do is you need to link it to uh, your icon wallet, an address. And okay, so let's do this. I'm going to log into my IconX wallet. I'm going to link it to this one. Now, when you click link, just give it a moment. And I am linked now. I can also set up a display name. So I'll do this as Fez has already taken on my other account. Oh. Well, it's only allowing me to put in that many letters, so. Great. Done. So the next thing you need to do now, I do have a spaceship already, so if you try to it will probably redirect you to the marketplace oh, there you go the audio has come in i'll pause that with a nice pause here so uh, so i'll just quickly go to the marketplace if you don't have a ship that's where you're going to have to start off and you can see you can pick spaceships now it looks like ships have gone up since launch which has been two days so there were uh you could pick up ships for 125 icx so at the moment 500 now keep in mind a lot of the 
uh, everyone who bought Gen Zero Planets originally, I think at the start of middle end of last year started this year they the team did retro drop as a thank you ships to everyone based on all the planets they own so even if they had just one planet they would have gotten a ship to start playing so um keep that in mind and this is where you would go to purchase it and this is exactly when you need your icx to purchase it as well but enough of that now let's dive right in so i'll, I'll click on overview and okay so uh, in my video, I obviously have one planet and one ship. So the next thing I want to do is start playing the game. So how do we get started? Let's get over, head over to play. And first thing I'm presented with is the galaxy map. You can see over here. These are different options, but let, let's just jump right in. I want to go here. When I click on the galaxy, you can see the first thing I can view it or I can deploy my ship. So I'm going to deploy my ship. And you can see, because I have a ship, it's given me an option. So obviously, if you didn't have a ship, there would be nothing here. And you'd have to go to the marketplace and buy. So let's hit confirm. Ah, there we go. Just left the space station. And every time something's displayed in it, you can actually click and listen, look at what the law or whatever it is. So um, let's take a look. So if you head out to the galaxy map, you know, some quick ways to get back in, navigation. Uh, these are all options. Obviously, if you click this, it'll bring it to your spaceship. This takes you to your map, and I haven't visited any, so there's nothing else to show. So when I click on the spaceship, give it a second, it loads up here, and off we go. Okay, so the next step is simply just moving around. You can see over here my fuel this ship has this much fuel and these are what I start off with in-game credits so this is something you can use to upgrade your planets um, by uh, claim new planets because it doesn't always use ICX that's the best part so uh, many times if you don't want to spend any more money in the game you can kind of just keep hunting around for in-game credits and that's my ad and um, uh, see what you find so and then you've got these are your different uh, industry how much your planets generate and here we have um, research where you can spend to upgrade so let's navigate a bit and then i'll come back to some of the upgrade components so let's fly around and see if i can find anything so you can see when i'm going to fly see it's using that 88 is fuel you'll see every time i move it's sucking up a bit of fuel and um, the fuel requires a bit of time to refresh you know so once you suck it up you usually have to wait a fair bit of time to get a decent chunk 24 hours and then you'll have a good um place to explore for a while again hey i am not having oh there's a planet okay let's hope fingers crossed something happens here okay so i've gone to it now you click on the planet you can see it's given me a bit of and so we'll click on view system oh come on everything's claimed there we go. Um, so you can see. And and y now you're probably thinking, oh, someone's already cleared out this galaxy. That's not the case. As you can see, apart from this, all these are Gen Zero planets, which was done well ahead of the game. This is what, what they gave as a pre-sale. So, oh, well. I thought I lucked out on, on this video and, and picked up something, but no one's ever this lucky. Let's go. Although I haven't gotten any loot, which is kind of um, surprising. In my first playthrough, as I explored, I picked up a fair bit of um, stuff around the galaxy. Nope. I'm just checking based on my fuel. I have 73. So, nope. I didn't find anything. Well, I, I almost found a planet, but couldn't do anything about it. So now, what happens here? I'm kind of stuck. Well, yeah, you kind of have to now wait for your ship to refuel, and it takes, um, depend on the regen time of the ship, but usually in a few hours you'll come back and it will have a few more spots. So if you give it 24 hours and do have a bit of a daily routine of flying, exploring, 
depending on your play style really um, and yeah but what are some of the other stuff you can do so over here you can see that at the moment um, you can uh, credits and research but I don't have any income coming in uh, so how can we fix that so let's head back over to overview and this is my planet now I've just clicked on it give it a moment so you can see as part of my um, planet it will generate seven credits six industry and two research and I have a bunch of slots here that I can upgrade now what I've realized uh, very quickly is you need to kick off an upgrade for the planet to start giving you a bit of income so uh, once the upgrade kicks off I believe it starts so let's take a look I don't have um, okay so oh, just for the sake of this I think but I do want to build this is you can see each of these does gives you different level ups so if I choose to build this which I don't have enough of I would get industry output of this planet by one uh, over here what's available to me is to increase maximum credits by 10 so if I click on that you can see the max cred uh, capacity is 50 and I could increase that by another 10 um, if I did that upgrade uh, for the moment actually that that's that's a good upgrade because I think I'll need that um, so let's do this you can see it takes 10 and 10 so everything will drop give it a moment great so it's kicked off the trade station upgrade time remaining three and a half hours it's there if I go now so once the upgrade is complete I should start seeing a bit more um, come through another player so okay great so the next thing is you have a research option and you can see over here I can so apart from the planets where you can level up then you can actually level up various things to drop the cost and upgrade just for playing the game right so um, it's very important to keep coming in and checking on on these and the different things what happens is you can see this overflow so if you have too much research points it, it flows over in instantly when you kick off one of these upgrades those points carry on um, come across to here and then start taking it um, depending on the time so that's pretty cool and each apart from general then each of the planets have their own variations that you can upgrade so on top of the planets the, this is a bit of side part you can upgrade collections is interesting so if you've got planets and things like that you can see the gen 0 gen 1 if you've got loot boxes or picked up any lore you you can um, you look at it through here it, it puts in uh, puts it over here which is cool and obviously if you find the marketplace uh, if you find the planet or anything like that you can just list it on the marketplace and sell it but oh, so coming back to play once my planet is upgraded you I will start to see and I'll come back to finish off the video like that you'll start to see that I'm slowly starting to earn an hourly rate and that's the goal here right so um, now that you've seen how you explore it is time restrictive in terms of you have a limited amount of fuel to explore and then you have to wait which is cool and the more planets you start acquiring then your output for the various fields gets higher and at the same time then you can redeploy to upgrading your planets so uh, and then you can take those planets if you've if you've got a few and then put one on the marketplace that's completely upgraded and hopefully play to earn that's that's how it works right so I hope this has given you a quick overview of how to get started as you can see unfortunately my adventure this time around wasn't as exciting as my first adventure where my first fuel run I I came across so many different things but um, each galaxy has its own surprises I suppose and um, I'll try to close off the video now just highlighting some of the planet production aspects and I'm back a little time has passed and straight away what I wanted to show as part of this was uh, talking through now I have kicked off my upgrade uh, and you can see over here all of a sudden before I didn't have anything but now you can see thanks to my planet I'm getting I only have the one planet so I'm getting seven credits and each of this 
I have automatically gaining what what per hour etc it gives you the breakdown so part of my six is 0.25 so not much so you can tell over here it's going to be a slow grind for me um, however as I find a planet again it was a very lame initial voyage um, should I say and uh, didn't find much but as I start exploring for example things I found in with my other profile is uh, quite a lot of space junk you can look through and um, asteroids things and it gives, gave me more fuel gave me more credits that was able to give me a bit of a buffer up here so that I could explore if I found anything I could spend or actually use those funds to upgrade my planet. So um, coming back to it, you can see once you start to stack planets how you generate a bit of income and you can use that income in the game. But overall, your goal is, you know, um, for example, had I found, um, to, to give you a bit more context here, had, I, had one of these planets been available and I could have claimed it, uh, let's see if I click on it, what happens here? I know it's claimed, I just thought, let's check out, does it have, here's the stats, no, it didn't have the price. That's okay, so had I claimed it, then I could have come to the marketplace, the soundtracks come on, and here you go, I could um, list it, you know, I believe in the game, had I found that rare one, it was 125 ICX, or whatever the in-game credits would be, I don't know, I haven't discovered one. However, you can see, look, here's a Gen 1. Someone's trying to ask for 1,200. Look at those upgrade slots, Jesus. So, um, yeah, look, opportunity. Uh, so, yes, the ship prices, when initially I showed, they are quite expensive. But you can see, even when you're finding a common, uncommon planet, that's going for 420 ICX. Uh, so, yeah, that is the way this game works. You upgrade, you build, you get more, and you can keep upgrading, and eventually uh, you can sell that asset for a tidy sum and reinvest in the game if you choose. But um, I hope this overview has given a bit more context as to what this game is about, this play style of the game, and um, answered a few of the questions if you're worried about, well, what are you spending money on, and oh my god, if the spaceship costs this much, how much is it going to cost to buy a planet? Again, to reiterate, some planets you can purchase for ICX if the option's given, and others will actually use the in-game credits, which is a slow grind to start building a good production. Um, to give you context, I'm on... Uh, I have a few planets in my other profile and I'm getting around um, 0.25 credit, uh, no, 2.50 credits an hour. So, um, you know, it, it is possible and it will take a bit of time to level up. As always, I hope you enjoy. This is a very different, you know, it's not DeFi, it's just a game you can sit and spend a little bit of time. Uh, soon it will be fully compatible with your mobile and um, you can access it via my icon wallet, but I think a couple of pieces don't work properly, but I think they will rectify that soon. So even on your work day, on the fly, you can quickly switch on your mobile, um, tap away at it, uh, collect some of your loot and just, just kick off upgrades if you need to and off you go. So really cool um well done to project nebula and the entire team i'm really looking forward to the galaxy expanding and um if you had a planet and you had some loot boxes you would have received some of those items and you can actually then go into your inventory uh, whatever you've 
um, received and you can kick off some perks. I don't have anything here, but if it did have it, uh, you could kick off, uh, you get extra credits, bonus credits, bonus industry, bonus, and then there's a whole lot of crafting items and that is for the next version of the game, which is kind of exciting what you'll be able to craft. and. They have actually said it in our interview, they said we'll be able to craft NFTs. So we'll be able to craft our own NFTs and then take it to the marketplace and sell it, which is pretty cool. So um, jump in. You, remember, it's a slow grind, but it's a it's a think long term goals with this, you know, grind away slowly at your own pace. There's no rush. Um, level up your planets as you see fit. Explore the galaxy. Take your time. And eventually when you're ready, you may want to, um, you know, uh, say bye bye to one of your planets that you've built up and that's when you'll start to earn hopefully um, some money from it uh, we've seen uh, axes go off um, and infinity axi go off axi infinity yeah and i i i don't see why this is not going to follow in in the same um, vein because it's space it's captured everything about it and um, you can't just sit on the computer grinding away to, um, you know, uh, be number one. It, it is time-based. So hmm. thanks, everyone, for watching. Like, subscribe, share. If you got, if you know someone who is playing a play-to-earn game, show them this. Let them get started. The more people we get in here, the better it is for the entire economy of the game. You know, the more people, the ships, you can see already what's happened. So hopefully the team release a few more ships. Um, and on the flip side, the planets, we already know there's uh, 5,000 or something planets to be discovered or more in-game, okay? So um, get in there and start exploring. Take care, everyone.